and snakes are out and about this time of year in middle Georgia. WGXA is on your side with information that can help you stay safe around any, any slithering suspects in your neighborhood. Jason Clark, I'm with Southeastern Reptile Rescue. The real dangers of copperheads, cottonmouths, and rattlesnakes is the fact that their coloration is so cryptic. I mean, these snakes are designed in order to be invisible in their habitat. So you really have to be vigilant and watching where you step and watching where you put your hands and feet when you're outside. And when you do come across one, simply back up and leave him alone. He's not going to leave where he is and chase you down in order to bite you. In order for you to get bit, you have to take the bite to the snake. Uh, Andy Bozeman. Yeah, I'm a pediatric surgeon here at Fairview Specialist Pediatric Surgery in Dublin, Georgia, affiliated with Fairview Park Hospital. Yeah, rendering first aid for a snake bite victim basically is to get the victim away from the snake, lay them down in a comfortable area, call for medical attention. Some of the things that are basically old wives' tales would be tourniquets. We never use tourniquets, you know, in snake bite. That actually uh, has a potential to do more damage. Um, the incision and suction, perhaps you've seen that in the old Western movies, um, that's mentioned only to be condemned. So when you have a snake that's really common, where people live, you have more encounters, and more encounters lead to more bites. Leave these snakes alone, and they will gladly do the same thing for you.